Hey guys, just wanted to do my review of Legends of Tomorrow, Season 3, Episode 4, Phone Home. So, this is, this starts out with, this episode, the episode starts off with um, young Ray, who we saw at the end of the last episode. Um, he's basically in this government facility in Ivy Town. Um, agents and apparently, and apparently, when the agents like kills shoots him, which is why during like a tr um group, I guess like a team building exercise, um, while they're on while they're on the wave rider, um, basically Ray uh, Ray Palmer, President Ray Palmer ends up phasing out of existence in the middle of a trust fall with Mick, and that's where Gideon tells him that. He's dis that um, Ray's disappeared and was killed on Halloween of 1988. So they go back to October 30th just to to the to prevent him from being killed and allows um, adult Ray to reappear to reappear it's just since the um, time has cemented you know the time has has not cemented itself yet so. Basic. So they're basically following him around. We get to realize, we get to figure out that Ray's pretty much the more or less the same as he's always been as a little kid to the point where he's like, he's so optimistic. He's so optimistic that even it makes Zari cringe, and he's like, how can you be so nonchalant about the fact that you know he's gonna die back at he's killed in the past? And he's just like, oh, this is the power of positive thinking. Even the point where it's like, um, there's like kids who like he. When he goes home, like he pick, they keep like throwing his backpack back and f back and forth, like it's a volleyball, just to pick on him. But he just like th thinks like, oh, they're just friends of mine, and he just like waves goodbye to them. Even the point where even Ray has to accept the fact that wow, these kids were actually picking on me, and you know the legends are like following them. They're waiting for these like '80s get-ups, and like um, it's cool how like Sarah and Amaya were driving around in the convertible and. He's always like little homages to the eighties, including um while Nate's like fo Nate's following young Ray, he's actually just cleaning a DeLorean and saying, Okay, now this is a time machine. And you found out and basically Ray goes sees through the window of his old bedroom and sees that because um his younger self stole candy and gave it to an alien baby, which turns out to be a baby dominator and and they realize that's what got him killed. So um, Ray and Zari try to sneak into the house, but it turns out that it doesn't. But Ray's doing stuff that's like somewhat uncharacteristic, including like skipping school. Um, so apparently he was still home with the baby Dominator and like making the food. So Zari had to hide under the bed. Ray had to shrink himself, and then of course like. Um, Young Ray, little Ray had to figure out, thought that um, his adult self in his Adam suit was a toy, so he put him on it. He put him on his desk and was like watching TV and eating popcorn. But then, um, but then of course, and then they were trying, to, and then um, Nate and Amaya tried to disguise themselves as like animal control and try to get to the baby Dominator, but Ray and um, gumballs, which the baby dominator was named Sneak Out, and Zari tries to chase him down and you know talk him into giving up the baby. But then, of course, um, she's forced to kind of play along where he has his own like Ford and named Camelot, and you know just kind of like you know kid around, just like a pe like a piece to him. But they both get ambushed by um, government agents who take him to that same government facility in which. Gumball's held captive and his powers are nullified and but Ray's able to finally, you know, unshrink himself and try to free Zari, prevent his past self from being killed from being shot by the government agent and get to the baby dominator. And he was and first it was just like he tries to talk to he tells it Ray tries to tell his younger himself that, you know, the world's not, you know, basically rainbows and skittles and but but then Zari ends ultimately ends up being the one who tells him to keep his, you know, tells him to keep his chin up and stay optimistic. And ironically, and 
the baby dominator actually had was bonding with um young Ray to the point where when they free him, the gumball uses his powers to have the government agents like sing, you know perform a number from from singing in the rain and like other subplots include um Sarah getting ambushed by the by gumball's mother and put in a cocoon and also includes um puts Ray's mother in a cocoon and tries to seduce Nate because Nate had the hots for Ray's mom and the and they end up being chased you know so Nate and Nate and Maya end up being chased down by the Dominator. Sarah tries to go back to the shit, the do, to the wave, right, the wave rider, but it turns out the ship's left because at first Jax and um, Rory think that oh he's been, like, he's been taking the time sh- he's been taking the time ship and deleting the travel logs and they assume he's being dishonest because he was using like a. He built his own communicator to communicate throughout time, so they think like, oh, he's selling them out to the Time Bureau because Zari called um, Martin out of not wanting to be on the sh- not wanting to be on the ship. But it turns out that he's been taking the time ship in order to check in, to check in on Lily, so he doesn't mi- miss the birth of his grandchild. And when they find out about that, they both they briefly go back to present day Central City. To witness the birth and um, and then, which is kind of um, heartwarming is that Martin names the his new grandson Ronnie after Ronnie Raymond and and of course they have like the whole um, they bring in the whole like you know make getting everybody like cigars again like going back to the Flash when you know at least it didn't feel like as like forced at least as forced or goofy when that when that was happening. But in this, but in essence, um, everybody, but who everybody who's still in 1988, the year I was born, by the way, um, is able to re- is able to regroup and reunite Gumball with his mother, even to the point where even where Nate, even Sarah's crying at the reunion, and and you know they basically, and I guess like the whole experience, like I think like, what I like about this episode is like how. You know, it kind of, it feel like it kind of like built on the relationship on you know Ray and Zari. They kind of had this like kind of it was kind of like a bonding moment for them, and you know it kind of gets um, Zari to sort of like loosen up. And I feel like she made like a a bigger a better impression here than on her last episode, where it just felt like I guess the actress wasn't completely like comfortable in the role, and um, it seemed like she's going to be a great foil of the team. And Jax is even talking to Ray about how he has to acknowledge the fact that um, Stein doesn't belong in the Wave Rider. And Ray points out that how they're inseparable, like almost literally. And, and that's when Jax asks um, Ray to find a way to help break out fi- break up Firestorm or break up Firestorm, pretty much. So, and especially the psychic connection between the two. Which makes me kind of worry because you know there's been rumors going around that um, Victor Garber is supposed to be killed off in the um, crossover at the end of the month, and it just seems like it just feels like they just they don't need to do that. They already have the grant. He already has his grandson to go and a family to go back to. Just just have him, um, you know, retire. Just find somebody else to bond with Jax to become Firestorm. Like I don't know. Like they just don't need to. Um, do that and to be honest with you as much as i like firestorm i mean it feels like apparently he's such like a apparently they don't have the budget to like use him very much and he he they have to keep like benching him for like multiple episodes so i mean it feels like it kind of just makes sense to kind of like you know it the ditch the character i mean as much as i hate it just because you know they can't really afford to use use them that often anyway. So I don't know. I I just hope that you know Victor Garber. They give Victor Garber a better send off than that. And um, 
But yeah, I kind of liked the episode, and we, I had to put up with, you know, annoying-ass Gary, and I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to be doing for next week, because apparently they go back to, I don't know, I guess like 19th century, have to deal with the vampires, so that's going to be fun. But what do you guys think of the episode? Do you like the homages to Back to the Future, E.T., because since Sari used her powers to have Young Ray and Sari's bikes fly, and any other... Sh- and any other homages to the 80s, let me know. Let me, give me your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.